Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to try not to get too overconfident with this session, but the conditions are perfect. I mean, it's bucketing it down with rain, loads of rain. One of the local rivers has already started bursting its banks. Um, and it is actually perfect conditions to do some perch fishing, especially with the weather cooling down. There's not going to be many opportunities to use hard baits, especially like little jerk baits like what I'm using today. And that is the aim of the game, using jerk baits that suspend in the water, um, that we can also work quite aggressively to try and get some takes from these fish before the water gets too cold. So without further ado, I'm going to put this camera away. I'm probably not going to do a huge amount of big camera work today because I don't want to break it. It is hammering it down and it's forecast all day. I've got about four hours of fishing. Let's go. Hopefully we'll get some perch on the bank. We'll go through my setup along the way and let's get some fish. There we go. Little weenie jack pack to start off with. I'm not where I want to fish yet. I was just rushing, you know, from this area to that spot and just very quickly casting just to see if there was anything knocking about. And hey, presto, who would have thought a hungry little jack would have taken it? Hey, tiny little baby pike on the little leg trap. Let's give him a little drop. Oh, there's a little jump then. Thanks, big guy, for the first fish of the session. I appreciate that. But let's get some big perch, eh? Now the way I'm working these baits today is just casting out long pulls and long pauses. And that's how we get those fish. I've explained it in previous videos before. It's really, really simple. You just cast out your bait, any sort of style jerk bait, preferably one that sits completely still, like the x wrap that I'm using today. And all you do is cast it out, long pull and a pause, long pull and a pause. This bait doesn't get down very deep, probably gets down to about three foot um, with the short cast on this canal. And when you actually let go of the bait, or rather let go of the rod, leave it still, the bait will sit almost completely still um, at the area where it is in the water. Um, and sometimes just pausing it and leaving it still gives those perch plenty of time to come in and smash it. Um, and it's absolutely killer for perch, pike, chub, you name it. Um, it works absolutely fantastically. Oh, just had a good hit then. Oh, it's a little pike. I thought it was going to be a big perch. It's going to smash that. There we go. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful little pencil pike is what we like to call them little ones. <laughs> there we go, there we go. You can always trust a bridge to bring a perch, it's not a monster, but uh, definitely welcome on a wet, rainy, horrible day like today. Oh, I probably shouldn't have swung him then. Beautiful fish, and obviously you can count on the x trap to bring me a decent perch. We're not going to get the big camera out for him, because it is heaving down, I don't want to break it. Uh, we'll save the big camera for if we get some nice lunkies, but still, it's an absolutely beautiful perch, probably a 30, low 30. He's an angry, angry one. I couldn't really give him a nice release thing because he was so aggressive, he jumped out my hands. There we go, there we go. That's a nice pitch. Okay, it's no record breaker, but um, definitely welcome. Give a nice new nifty net out. We got you. Oh, and he unhooked himself in the net. A little bit bigger than the one I caught underneath the bridge. It's probably like a 34 or something. Maybe a bit less. He's quite a long fish, but a very skinny fish. Egg trap doing business as usual. See you later, bud. Going the right way, they're getting bigger. That's what I was hoping for, those larger fish from the canal. I've got to an area where it's a bit darker, we're underneath some trees. Um, I'm going with an x trap but in a white version, a ghosty sort of pattern. Um, and the water's coloured up a lot more as well, obviously with all this rain coming down. It's 
gradually made the water more and more dirty. There we go. Oh, the perch on the first cast. The moment I put a white colour on to try and get a bit more visibility in the water straight away. Look, I think this is definitely going to be a colour to stick with for now anyway, while the water's mucky. Oh, I'm going to flip him actually. I don't want to get the hooks tangled up in the net because he's not, he's not a beast, but he's a nice one. Probably matches the very last. Ouch! That's a hook in my finger. Ow. That probably matches the length of the very last fish I caught. It's still just a, a really nice size fish to catch. I mean, this is sort of what was after. I mean, I was I was hoping for some like really big ones. They're like two and a half pound pluses anyway. Um, or oh, definitely forty plus centimeter fish. But I ain't gonna complain at these low thirties, low to mid thirties. Look at that. It's fairly long fish, exactly the same as the last one pretty much, almost identical. I don't know if it's sitting in the net, I don't know if there'll be any more down there. I probably will, just to make sure, because that was a very quick bit of action after I decided to put a different bait on. Oh my god. There we go. <laughs> Tiny little fish. Oh, there we go. There we go. Right on the pause, just went to twitch it again. He got crushed. There we go. I'll answer the phone now. Yeah. See you, buddy. So I've just had a fish hit it. I'm not sure what it is. I thought it was a perch at first. But I have not got a clue what that fish is. It kind of looks like a daze. Oh, it keeps following it. Every time I cast out, it, it sort of follows it in. I'm just going to do a really slow retrieve and just see if it'll come into it. Okay. It's coming towards the bait. Yep. Yep, we got it. What is it? What is that? Oh, it's a trout. It's a little trout. What the hell? I've never, ever caught a brown trout out of the local canal before. I've caught them out of rivers. Never out the canal. That is a first for me. That is awesome. Beautiful little trout. They are out of season, but I'm pretty sure that's only on rivers. So I'm pretty sure I can show them to you guys. Let me know. It might be a bit of a grey area with canal systems. I don't know if the class is running water or not. But anyway, that is awesome. Never caught a trout out the canal before. Let's put him back. Oh, not the most dignified release. Kind of flopped out my hands then. That is awesome. Oh no, it's a pike. Uh, I saw a mouth swipe at the bait and I thought for sure it was a perch. I don't know why. Because there's such dark water around here, I couldn't quite tell what it was that attacked it. Uh, it looked like a perch. Never mind. Well, except another pike. Oh, we're after, but they've put up a right scrap on the light gear. It's probably number four or five. I can't, I've been keeping cats. Definitely the big ones, the biggest one so far, anyway. Oh god, he crushed that bait. <laughs> awesome. There you, go, you always get the furthest bait, the furthest hook out first. Then get the nearest, and it makes life a lot more easier. There we go. Not what we was after, but a lovely jack pike, and he put up a really nice scrap on the light gear. See you later, big guy. Oh, he tricked me into thinking he was a page. There we go. Oh, that's a nice perch. Biggest one so far, anyway. He's only just hooked. Let's get the net under this one, although I think he might fall off. Oh no, he's hooked himself with the other hook now, so I don't want to net him. I don't want to risk hurting him anymore by impression around. But look at that, crushed it. Definitely the biggest one so far. Real nice, which we might take a closer look at this one actually. I'll put him in the net and I'll have a couple more casts just in case. <laughs> There's another one around there. 
<laughs> well, I wanted to get a better look at that fish because it was the biggest one of the day. I didn't even get to show him to you guys properly, but that was a really nice fish. Ah, well, you get the idea. God damn it. Biggest one so far. I was going to rest him in the net. There we go. There's another one, and I was going to see if there was any more fish out there. And that is the next cast down. It's still a decent fish, and that would have been a lovely brace shot, wouldn't it? So again, not a huge one, but... Ah, oh, would have been a lovely brace shot with those fish back to back and back to back cast. That is actually frustrating. So we'll put this one in the net. I don't think there's going to be any more out there now. The net magnet comes in real handy for attaching to the banks of these. The canal went sheep metal. This perch, I think, sums up the condition of all the perch in this canal. It's absolutely stunning. Now, I've lost audio to this clip, unfortunately, due to the amount of rain that's come down, but we're right towards the end of the session. Um, but this is a show of just how deadly uh, a pause can be on the baits that, you, that I'm using today on these X-Raps. Uh, I've just spotted a fish in the water. I'm not sure what it was. I had a shape follow. So I'll let this bait pause in the water and watch this. Absolutely smashed it. A beautiful pike, no monster, uh, but biggest fish of the session. And it crushed that bait when it was sat completely still, not moving at all. And that's when these fish love it. There it is. Like I say, no monster, but on the ultralight rod and on a small bait too, he absolutely crushed it and put one hell of a scrap. And he took that bait right on the pause. You're probably fed up with me saying pause today. Take a shot for every time I've said pause in this video. And you'll be peed up by the end of it. But um, yeah, absolutely crushed it. Exactly when I thought it would do. Now, finally, the rain has stopped. I've even managed to take off my jumper because I was getting too warm. Um, yeah, right at the end of the session, um, just getting towards night time, and the sun decided to make a show. Got a little rainbow, which was nice. Double rainbow all the way. And uh, now a bit of sun, so that's nice. I can dry out on the way home. Thank you guys for watching. It's been a lovely session today. Um, we've really surprised about that trout. Let me know if you guys have caught trout from your canals before. I mean, I've, I've heard people say um, that, that there is your trout in canal systems, but I've never caught one out of my local canal. That was awesome. Um, and catching all those perch, it was fantastic. I think I probably caught 20 odd perch. I I'm not going to include all of them because there was loads of these little tiny things that kept taking it. No monsters, but just a really nice stamp of fish and a few jack pike thrown in as well, which I didn't want, but it's all great fun on the ultralight setup. I'll leave all the links in the description to the setup that I've used and the baits that I've used today, but I've mainly just been using the x rap because it absolutely slays on the canal, especially when it comes to perch. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Go and check out my Instagram, which I'm linking down below too, and I'll catch you guys later.